This is the TV44 High School Wiz Quiz with your host, Dancy Moeller. Hi, everybody, and thanks for joining us for the 2017 fall edition of TV44's High School Wiz Quiz. We're thrilled that you can join us. We've got a great show lined up for you today. You're going to see Versailles take on Paulding, and a little bit later than Lincoln View will face off against Elmwood. We want to introduce you to our players joining us now from Versailles. We have Sam Eiding, Tessa Tayo, Andrew Hickman, and Sam Stockler. And Versailles is coached by Margie Treon. Welcome to all of you. Okay, turning now to Paulding High School. We have joining us Madison Good, Emma McMaster, Stephanie Hayburn, and Hannah Vance. And Paulding High School is coached by Melissa Harder. All right, you guys, this is our first round. Ten questions worth ten points apiece. I know we tell you every season, but it's really important that you speak up when you answer. Make sure your answers are as complete as possible and get those buzzers ready, okay? All right, here we go. Question number one. Who was the 41st president of the United States? Yes, for sales. George H.W. Bush. I'm glad you got that. That is correct. All right, question number two. Which state lies due east of Alabama? Yes, Paulding. Georgia. Georgia is correct. Which NFL team is based in Jacksonville, Florida? Yes, for sales. Jacksonville Jaguars. That is the answer. All right, what color is an Oscar? Yes, for sales. Gold. Gold is the answer there. Question number five. Who was the first American to walk in space? For sales. John Glenn. John Glenn is incorrect. So, Paulding, you've got a chance here. Buzz Aldrin. Buzz Aldrin. Buzz Aldrin is also incorrect. The name is Edward White. All right, moving on to question number six. On which Japanese city was the second atom bomb dropped? Yes, for sales. Nagasaki. Nagasaki is correct. What number is an improper fraction always greater than? Yes, for sales. One. One is the answer. What type of rock is Mount Rushmore composed of? Yes, Paulding. Granite. Granite is the answer. What has been the most common name for popes through the millennium? For sales. Benedict? That is incorrect. Paulding, you've got a chance here. Uh, John. That is correct. You guessed very well. All right. <laughs> Last question in this first round. As of July of 2017, what is the third largest city in the United States? Yes, Paulding. Los Angeles. Los Angeles is incorrect. For sales, you want to try? Francisco. Yes. San Francisco. That is also incorrect. Chicago is what we're looking for. All right, we've come to the end of our first round between Versailles and Paulding. Versailles with 50 points, Paulding with 30. We'll be back with rounds two and three right after the break. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by the Union Bank Company, committed to you, and by the Tom All Family of Dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, welcome back everyone. We are in the middle of a game right now between Paulding and Versailles High Schools. Our score right now, Paulding with 30 points and Versailles with 50. That means Versailles, you're going to lead this round. You'll have your five questions worth five points apiece, okay? Here we go, what is the top number of a fraction called? Yes. Numerator. Numerator is the answer. Name one of the two U.S. presidents who had no organized opponent running against them. Yes. George Washington. 
That is correct. Or you could have answered James Monroe as well. All right, so what was the name of the mansion where Elvis Presley died? Yes. Graceland Mansion? Graceland is correct. All right, two questions remaining here. Which state became our 50th state on August 21st of 1959? Yes. Hawaii? Hawaii is correct. And in Peter Pan, what kind of animal is Nana? Yes. Dog? Dog is the answer. Very good. All right, moving over to polling now for your five questions. What is Minneapolis's Twin City? Yes. St. Paul? St. Paul is correct. Which state is called the Treasure State? All right, time is up. Montana is the answer. Which boxer lost part of his ear to Mike Tyson in 1997? The answer is Evander Holyfield. Okay, two questions remaining in this round. What U.S. city is across the Rio Grande from Juarez, Mexico? Yes. Um, San Antonio. That is incorrect. It's El Paso, Texas. All right, your final question in this round. Which state is both the westernmost and easternmost in a hemisphere? Um, Juno. Juno is incorrect. The state is Alaska. Yeah. All right, let's move on now to our third and final round. Our score right now, Versailles with 75 points, Paulding with 35. And these are 10 questions again, we're 10 points apiece. Get the buzzers ready. What is the most frequently diagnosed cancer in men? Versailles. Prostate cancer? That is the correct answer. What two states does the Mason-Dixon line separate? Yes, for sales. Virginia and West Virginia. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. So, Paulding, we can turn this one to you. Yes. Kentucky and Tennessee. Also incorrect. The answer is Pennsylvania and Maryland. All right, question three. Name the U.S. Bill of Rights Amendment that guarantees the free exercise of religion. Yes, Paulding. The First Amendment. The First Amendment is correct. What part of the eye may be obscured by cataracts? <clears throat> yes, that would be Paulding. Nope, I'm sorry, Versailles. The cornea. The cornea is incorrect. We can turn it to Paulding. Yes. The retina. That is also incorrect. The lens is what we're looking for. All right, what does the myo mean as in myocardial? Yes, Versailles. Muscle. Muscle is the answer. All right, what famous lieutenant colonel was killed at the Battle of Little Bighorn? Yes, that would be Paulding. Colonel Custard. We will accept that. All right, question number seven. What song is played at military funerals? Yes, Paulding. Taps. Taps is correct. During the first six months of life, what color are a zebra's stripes? Yes, that would be Versailles. Brown. Brown is the answer. What minor league baseball player won the Heisman Trophy while playing football for the Florida Gators? All right, time is up. The answer is Tim Tebow. And your final question. The Sony Company originated in which country? Yes, that would be Versailles. Japan. Japan is the answer. All right, we've come to the end of our game between Versailles and Paulding. Here is our score, Versailles 115 points, Paulding with 65. So Versailles, you'll be moving on in competition. Paulding, we want to thank you for joining us. We'll see you back here for our next game right after the break. Don't go away.
Tonight's Whiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by Rhodes State College, committed to your success. RhodesState.edu and by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. All right, welcome back everyone. Well, Versailles came out the champ in our last game, so they will be moving on to take on the winner of this game now between Elmwood and Lincoln View High Schools. Elmwood is joining us this year and we're so glad to have you. So let's introduce our players. Joining us is Joe Labory, Carson Palmer, Kaylee Kingery, and Dylan Gerkins. And Elmwood is coached by Hope Hopkins Fawcett. Welcome to all of you. All right, Lincoln View, joining us is Sydney Thatcher, Dylan Neat, Kylie Mongold, and Peter McMaster. And Lincoln View is coached by Deb Stetler. Welcome to all of you. you. All right, guys, we have our first round. 10 questions, we're 10 points apiece. You've got a lot of personality here. So make sure that you speak up though when you answer your questions, make them as complete as possible. And let's get those buzzers ready, okay? Let's have fun. Question one, what is the capital of Alabama? Yes, that would be Lincoln View. Montgomery. Montgomery is correct. What is the medical term for low blood sugar? All right, the answer is hypoglycemia. Number three, who is the only stage performer who almost always shows his back to the audience? Yes, that would be Lincoln View. Charlie Chaplin. That is incorrect. Elma, do you want to try this? The answer is the conductor. Yeah, that was kind of tricky. All right, number four. <clears throat> Name the more than 600-year-old building that leans over 14 feet. Yes, Elmwood? The Leaning Tower of Pisa. You are correct. In what year were U.S. women granted the right to vote? Yes, that would be Lincoln View. 1918. That is incorrect. Elmwood, do you want me to complete the question? Yes, please. In what year were U.S. women granted the right to vote in national elections? Yes. 1817. That is incorrect. The answer is 1920. All right. Name the only U.S. president to serve more than two. Yes, that would be Lincoln View. Franklin Roosevelt. That is correct. Who was fired from his position as the director of the FBI in May? Yes, that would be Elmwood. James Comey. James Comey is the answer. All right, number eight. The International Union for Conservation of Nature removed which animal from its endangered list in September of 2016? Yes, that would be Lincoln View. The bald eagle? That is incorrect. So, Elmwood, you've got a chance with this one. You want to try? The great panda? We will take that. The panda is correct. All right, number nine, Mount Mitchell is the highest peak in which mountain group? Yes, that would be Lincoln View. The Appalachian Mountains. That is incorrect. Elma, do you want to try? Yes. The Rocky Mountains? Blue Ridge Mountains is the answer we're looking for. All right, you've got one question remaining in your first round. Who wrote the Communist Manifesto? Yes, that would be Elmwood. Karl Marx. Karl Marx is correct. All right, here's our score. Elmwood, you have 30 points, Lincoln View with 20. Elmwood, that means you lead this next round. You have five questions. They are all yours with five points apiece. Here we go. Napoleon the Pig is a central character in what novel? Yes. Animal Farm. That is the correct answer. Good job. Question two, what are the color sensitive cells in the eye called? Yes. The retina. That's incorrect. Cones is the answer. 
Who was the first president to appear on television? Yes. JFK? That is incorrect. Franklin Roosevelt is the answer. All right, in 1947, where was the Zika virus first detected? Yes. Brazil? Brazil is incorrect. It was the Zika forest in Uganda. All right, here's your final question in this second round. Muhammad Ali was best known for which sport? Yes. Boxing. Boxing is correct. Very good. All right. Lincoln View, your five questions worth five points apiece. Denver is on which river? The Colorado River? That is incorrect. The South Platte is the answer there. All right, what Asian country is the world's leading producer of tea at over one million tons per year? India? India is incorrect. The answer is China. All right, at which Ohio University were four students shot? Kent State. I'm sorry? Kent State. Kent State is the answer in 1970. The first successful flight in 1903 was near what location? Kitty Hill. That is incorrect. The answer is Kitty Hawk, North oh, Carolina. So All right, final question in this round. Which American inventor received a patent for the telegraph in 1840? Alexander Graham Bell. That is incorrect. Samuel Morse is the answer. All right, we've come to the end of our first and second rounds. Here is the score. Elmwood with 50 points, Lincoln View with 25. We'll be back to wrap up the game right after the break. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by the Union Bank Company, committed to you, and by the Tom All Family of Dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, welcome back everyone. We have a game going now between Elmwood and Lincoln View. The score right now, Elmwood with 50 points, Lincoln View with 25. We're moving into our final round. These are 10 questions again with 10 points apiece. Everybody get the buzzers ready and answer loudly, as loudly as you can, okay? Without yelling. All right, question number one. What type of an angle is more than 90 degrees? Yes, that would be Lincoln View. Obtuse. Obtuse is correct. What is the official state flower of Ohio? Yes, Elmwood. Red carnation. You are correct. During World War II, U.S. servicemen were called GIs. What were they called during World War I? Yes, Elmwood. Doughboys. Doughboys is the answer. What is the saltiest sea in the world? Elmwood. The Dead Sea. The Dead Sea is the answer. What was the first country to issue postage stamps? Elmwood. Great Britain. We will accept that. That's correct. Let's move on to question six. Al Gore's film about global warming is called what? Elmwood. The truth. That is incorrect. Lincoln View, you got a chance with this one. Yes. The true story. That is also incorrect. The answer is an inconvenient truth. All right, question number seven. What is the name of the reading system that allows the blind to read? Yes, Lincoln View. Morse code. That is incorrect. <laughs> Elmwood, do you want to try it? Yes. Braille. <laughs> Braille is correct. All right. Moving on. Question number eight. How many World Series did Babe Ruth help his team go to? Yes, that would be Lincoln View. Eight. Eight is incorrect. Elmwood, you want to try? Yes. Six. 
six is also incorrect. The answer is 10. All right, two questions remaining in your game. Which organ secretes insulin? Yes, Lincoln View. Pancreas. The pancreas is correct. And your final question in your game. What bird did Benjamin Franklin want to have? Yes, that would be Elmwood. The turkey. The turkey is the answer. All right. We've come to the end of our game between Lincoln View and Elmwood High Schools. And here's our score. Lincoln View, 45 points. Elmwood, 110. Congratulations. You're going to be moving on in competition, taking on Versailles later on this year. And uh, we want to thank both of you teams for, for joining us. And I'm glad that you have a sense of humor. So thank you so much. We want to thank you at home for watching us. We'll see you back here next week. Bye-bye.